Hello! Hey loves, thanks for clicking on today's video. So today I've decided to do a little picnic. You know how they have glamping? This is borderline kind of like a picnic glamp because aside from cutting up some watermelon and making some macaroni salad, that's pretty much what I've made. I'm gonna just grab some food on the way and we're just gonna head to our destination. Okay, so this is pretty much the fit. Was this supposed to be the fit? No. It was not, but I shaved this leg while in the shower, forgot to shave this leg. So by the time I started to do my whole lotion and all of that, I was like, you know what? I'm at the point of no return. I'm doing an outfit change as opposed to jumping back in the shower and shaving my leg. So that's what it is. I'm giving mom vibe. I have my little mommy bag here. So that's what it is. We are gonna do a little glamping, not glamping, but it's, Lord, I don't know what kind of picnic yeah. this is, but this is the outfit check. I think this is cute. I'm not mad at it. Okay guys, we have reached our destination. It's a little bit of a walk though. I thought they would have paid for parking, but they don't. So we are going to start walking. Lots of buildings around, but it's like a little hidden gem. As we go this way, you can see like a lot of greenery and all of that nature stuff. So this was a TikTok recommended, so hopefully it's a good one. It's in the heart of the city, Mississauga City. This is the entry to the park. Go this way. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here today. I don't know if we're gonna find a spot. Yeah, let's go find a little spot. Okay, there's a lot of people here, guys. Lord. So we're gonna camp out right here so we can see everything. So we are situated. This is our little camping spot. I got my Mary Browns here and we are just going to chow down because I can't recall eating this morning. I did drink some coffee, but that is about it. And when I drink coffee and I don't eat, it's another level. It just makes me feel a little antsy and a little on edge. Peanut fell asleep, so let's enjoy this moment because once he's up, he's gonna be up. Sanitizer? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're gonna spit on the pond of the wet grass. I probably am. Did the girl give us like four? One at the dry fall? 
I probably use this one because this one is a little, this one is more sturdy. Me. <laughs> my hunger said till it slapped me. Right, so I'm gonna feel a spot for dog. Oop. There's no way around this. The hunger just beat me. Beat me up. Look a piece of hunger just off me away. Mm -mm. Hungry enough to stay so. Wicked kind of hungry this. Wicked kind of hungry. We just want to eat on the food not share out yet. Hungry. Extra chicken. There's one piece of chicken in there. It's her peanut. Where's the little, where's the spoon? Do you guys want to have some of the macaroni and cheese that I actually brought? Yeah. I need Okay. people in my is. You're doing a little wedding? Maybe, but they look pretty Yes. Oh, and then a bee. Man, MP found a people in something. My juice already spilled. Can you guys see the bird right there? So cute. I don't know what what is it called? Is it a robin? I gotta go look it up on the internet. You guys, this is the aftermath. Look at my plate. And I, you ever have a piece of chicken or a piece of whatever you're eating? Oh, oh my god, look at the size of that big old dusty oh. ants. <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> Sharon is caring. <laughs> that was a food attack. Anyways, this is the piece of chicken I want to deal with a certain kind of way. And then, Should I put it in there's a whole bunch of people, so yeah, I need stush. I'm gonna eat a piece of chicken stush. bird's nest right there. You can see the squirrel. It's literally right in the middle of the city. So awesome. Really close in the heart of the city, we have this like little gym. Clearly a lot of people know about it because they're all here. Everybody's outside. So we can't catch nature. Do you see it? You see the squirrel? 
Yeah, there goes the squirrel. It's a little hard to see. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, those are not ducks. Those oh, are birds. Oh my God! Look, come the ducky squirrel. Squirrel, go on. Hey, hey, hey! No bother with it. Not a today. Okay, guys. So we just finished walking back the stuff to the car. I had um, a cooler. Summer and a wagon so I brought that back to the car so now we're just gonna go and do a little bit of sightseeing because the extra luggage is gone so now we can actually video some stuff and take a little bit more footage wow accident <laughs> she's like I don't give a damn <laughs> she's like listen it's either you make me go or we're gonna both be like just go around her, she could but it's just the nature of people to want things to be their way. All right, so we're actually walking back to the park. Could you guys believe it? Like, this is the middle of the city. And in the middle of the city, the park is literally right over here. There's a hidden gem, so let's go. I have to change my shoes and put some crocs on because it just made sense. This is more comfortable to walk in. My slides or my dressy slides were a vibe, but listen, we're about like practicality over fashion. And look how far summer is. I can't even see that girl. The sun is sunning. Summer, do you want to take my picture right here? Yeah. So July 7th, 1981 to July 1986 to commemorate the 15th anniversary of twinning between Kairi City and Japan City in Mississauga. Okay, so that's the history of the park. Hope you guys can see that.